Hi there, you're with English Coach, me, Simon Elliott, here talking to you today about working from home during the quarantine or social isolation. Now, for those of you who want to take social isolation seriously, which means staying indoors and doing certain things like when you have to go out using a mask uh, on your face and using alcohol gel on your hands, there's a whole lot of things to consider when you develop a new routine at home. And I'm not talking in, the, in these terms about the hours of your work, because in some cases the hours of your work will remain the same. You'll be starting at eight or nine in the morning and finishing at five or six and doing most of your work online. Okay, what I'm talking about specifically is how you manage and how you perform in the rest of your days and hours and minutes of the week, which means how happy are you with your meals? What is mealtime like? Are you giving yourself enough time or are you racing through your meal? just to get into your afternoon working routine? These are really important questions. Food is a really important question because it can also be a reward for you. And it can also be a chance to get creative, which is absolutely necessary during these times at home. So let's start. Eating. When you plan a meal, or you plan meals for your whole week, you are taking into consideration A, your health, B, your excitement to eat, C, your time and availability to prepare that meal, and D, how comfortable is it to eat like that and how sustainable is it during this social isolation and are the ingredients that you can get your hands on so these are some of the things to consider uh, why is it important to take half an hour 40 minutes to prepare a meal uh, even if it is just for the lunch and the dinner of that day why is it important well, it's important for many reasons. One reason is you can be highly creative during this period of time. You can create a dish from a different recipe each day of the week. Now, this is not something that I afford myself generally. I generally cook at least two different meals per week that I've never cooked before. And I learn certain things about how I'm cooking and what kind of style I have. Uh, I never spend more than 40 minutes cooking because th there are other things to do. I, I work a lot. Generally, I work up to 9 to 10 hours a day. So I also need uh, a lot of time for my work and I cannot sacrifice so much time just to cooking one meal. Next thing to think about, to consider in your routine besides eating and creating your meals, your creative meals, is sleep. Now, one thing that is happening uh, during the social isolation in some households, whether you're living with someone or you're living alone, depression and domestic violence is actually increasing. And that means a couple of things. It means that people are being bad to themselves and they're being bad to the people around them. Believe it or not, one of the causes of this is sleep. Going to bed at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. because you cannot sleep, because you don't feel that you lived yesterday properly because you had to stay at home. Now, this is a really typical response. There's nothing wrong with this response. There's nothing wrong with acting like this. Uh, in terms of, yes, there's a reason, yes, there's a motive for your behavior. But in terms of rationale and logical and, and living life in a way that is going to benefit you or, or, or be 
the have the minimum positivity present, it's an absolute disaster for you because you're assuming that just because your uh, normal routine has finished, you're going to remain the same and you're going to continue living as if you're in the same reality that you were before. And that's wrong for so many reasons. If you cannot figure that out, I tell you to turn off the video now or pause the video and think about that for two minutes. Why is it necessary to change your behavior now that we're in social isolation? Why is it necessary for you to rethink your life? Just pause the video and just think about that. Why do I need to change my routine, change my life? The next point uh, about sleep is that sleep affects your hormones, okay? Sleep affects your hormones, sleep affects your uh, moods, okay? Sleep can determine how much cortisol is running through your body and can cause uh, directly these things that I talked about before, depression and domestic violence, okay? Because it causes uh, a difference to your body in terms of hormones, in terms of your moods and things like that. If you add alcohol or drugs or other things to the mix, then you're just going to make that an even bigger problem. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to let you consider today is exercise. Getting at least 20 minutes to 30 minutes exercise a day. That does not mean running out in the neighborhood or running outside in the parks. If you live in a reasonably lonely neighborhood, maybe you can start to think about that. But using common sense, generally the answer is no. And generally you can still get the virus running past someone who just happens to be breathing very heavily and has the virus, okay? It's quite quite common, quite easy to happen. So uh, running outside is not always a good idea. So you're saying, but that's the only way I know how, okay? Put a lid on that, full stop, you're finished. Let me tell you, I never thought that I could work out uh, outside of a gym. I've always been working out at a gym. For the last two to three years, I've been working out at a gym. I had a one year break, of course, uh, in 2018, but 2019 until now, I've been going to the gym and getting great results. Was I disappointed when this happened? No. I've been doing some pretty crazy home workouts using YouTube. YouTube is fantastic. I follow like five different people here. All of them bring me the knowledge that I want to know, that I want to apply, just in the way that I didn't know was possible or I was missing one ingredient. And let me tell you right now, exercise is a solution. Exercise is a lifesaver. It's a little bit like sleep. Uh, it can change your mood. It can have an impact on how positive or optimistic you are every day. And let me tell you right now, being pessimistic or negative, uh, that can have a whole set of circumstances to it. It doesn't actually matter what is going on in the reality of your political hub or parliament, yeah? It doesn't matter if they're arguing about something you find absurd or it doesn't matter if they're trying to pass a law that you believe is going to kill everyone or destroy the economy. If you put your effort and if you put your vision and all of your energy into that thing, you're going downhill very quickly. So this is probably the, the best advice that I can give you today, and that is focus on the things that you can change, which are these things, eating right, sleeping well, and exercising. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to mention today, which is also really important for you, is, believe it or not, entertaining yourself. So if you've decided that it's okay to watch TV all day, let me tell you, you're running another risk. It, it's a collection of behaviors that includes going to bed late, eating junk food with no vegetables and, and no fresh food, okay? Uh, thinking pessimistically and watching a lot of the news when you're not watching other things. 
Now, this collection of behaviors, and, and of course not exercising, this collection of behaviors lead to a, a kind of destruction. It doesn't mean that your life is over. It doesn't mean you'll commit suicide, but you will suffer during this period that we're living right now, which is social isolation. So if you eliminate the lack of sleep, if you eliminate the junk food, if you eliminate the lack of exercise and you give yourself rewards, you can live through this period quite well. And so let's put that in a more affirmative way. If you give yourself the right food, including uh, healthy food, foods that you didn't always want to eat, if you get enough sleep, if you give yourself quality sleep, not getting up late and not going to bed late, if you give yourself 20 to 30 minutes of exercise a day, it doesn't have to be a lot, but you do have to enjoy it, then you can also give yourself rewards like choosing specific times during the week, including Friday nights, Saturday afternoons, Sunday afternoons, for eating junk food and give yourself a, a sense of the time. Give yourself a sense of the weekend. Use that time to eat junk food, Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, or in, in this time. And use that time to, to blob out and watch TV nonstop. I don't have anything against that. I think it's quite reasonable. But if you're doing that from Monday to Friday lunchtime, you're really screwing yourself up because it means that you're destroying any notion of a routine. And routines right now, it's like the medicine of the population. Without a good routine, you're pretty much screwed. You're going to be protesting with the guys that want to bring the economy back right now when there's, I don't know how many people dying out there. So, uh, or, or on the other hand, you, you're completely so worried about the disease, you're not going out for anything and you're, you're telling other people to stay completely trapped, you know, which is the other extreme. You know, healthy people don't really go to extremes. So it's good to have a good routine from Monday to Friday where you're really practicing the things that you want to practice that are good for you, including the food, the exercise, and the sleep, most importantly. And then planning those rewards, man. Planning rewards on Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Planning rewards that include good food, good TV. Um, there's, no, there's nothing else like it. And once you start to get comfortable at home, you'll find that you'll have to readapt to go back out again to your office. And probably you're thinking to yourself, well, that's no good for me. Then I have to adapt again. Well, life is about adaption. Those of us in the human race that can adapt, we're going to be the ones that decide the future. And the rest of the people are either going to follow in a herd-like fashion or die. Okay? It sounds cruel, but there's a method and a strategy to everything. Focus on what's working. Don't focus on what's not working. Focus on what you can improve, not what you cannot improve. Focus on how to give yourself rewards, but also focus on how to create a fantastic routine. It's been a pleasure to see you today. I'm Simon from English Coach, and I'll see you in the next video.